Okay, good morning everybody. It's Alison from digiteachonline.com. Welcome to this wonderful um, tutorial, live or video. If you want to uh, learn how you can start earning income online by teaching online, then this is going to be the video for you. Today, I'm gonna to show you what you need to get started what equipment you might need, where you can get it, the best budget equipment, the qualifications you might want to consider getting if you don't have any. And again, I'm also going to give you some exclusive voucher codes where you can save like hundreds of pounds on qualifications. I'm going to tell you where you can go to get jobs, where you can start applying literally directly after you've made sure you've got the right you know, qualifications. And some of the qualifications can just take a weekend to get. And I'm also going to tell you about how you can even think about starting your own online tutoring business or e-learning e or education business, tutoring from anywhere in the world to anywhere in the world. So first of all, let's get started on thinking about some of the prerequisites that you may want to have. So first of all, I'm going to take you to a really useful uh, resource, which is actually my own website, which is uh, digiteachonline.com. And here you will see uh, lots and lots and lots of information uh, that you're going to need really if you want to um, start thinking about teaching online. So the first thing you're going to be uh, wanting to uh, think about if you're teaching online is what qualifications are you going to need? Now, it depends really what you're going to be teaching, quite simply. Are you going to be teaching English online, for example, which is quite a popular choice uh, for natives or even non-native speakers? Or are you going to be teaching something else? If you want to teach English online, you are definitely going to need a TFAL or a TSOL. What are they? Let me explain very quickly. A TFAL is teach English as a foreign language. TSOL is teach English as a second language. TFAL is pretty much used by Europeans and British English teachers. And Americans tend to uh, refer to pretty much the same qualification but as a TSOL. Now, normally these cost between 150 to 350 pounds, but DigiTeach Online is a, par a partner with a major online academy and we can actually get you one for 19 pounds. So I'm gonna give you some details about where you go to get that a little bit later. Um, a TFAL or a TSAL is not like a Kelta. A Kelta is the Cambridge qualification. A TFAL or a TSAL can be completed within a day or a weekend. So if you are a native English speaker and you want to earn some money teaching online, you can definitely do that starting with 19 pounds, okay? So that's the first thing you are going to need. The second thing you're going to need is you're going to need to know what equipment you need to have. Now, this is really important if you're working online and especially if you're working for companies because companies will be requiring that you have certain things. If you go along to uh, digiteachonline.com and uh, if I just bring it up here, you go along to the menu here where it says recommended resources. Uh, if you click on that, recommended resources, it will take you to the recommended kit that we recommend. We only recommend things that we use ourselves or have used ourselves. Um, so here it's not going to be a massive list. It's literally the things you need to have. So here to start with, you're going to find your cheapest certified TSOL. If you click on the picture there, that's going to take you to the TSOL um, and where you go um, to um, how you start basically uh, teaching with that. This will tell you all about the TSOL and it will go a little bit further into detail about things you might want to know about the TSOL. 
and how you apply for it. So again, that's an exclusive code uh, unique to digiteachonline.com. So make sure you get that. Next, you are definitely going to need a headset for teaching online. Okay, you're going to need a headset with a microphone, a good microphone, and potentially something that can bend quite well like this and that plugs into your computer. The reason for this is that when you use a headset that plugs into your computer, normally the connection is a lot better and it just produces a better quality from for you and noise reducing headphones which are these uh, as you can see they're slightly padded as well uh, these are my own so there might be a little bit of makeup on them um, they are really soft and really comfortable now when you're working online this is really useful here in here can you see the little gap i can put my finger in there this is really useful because otherwise you can get almost like condensation in your ear which will then lead to an ear infection and if you've ever had a painful ear infection i have i'm sure many people have if they work online it can be really really nasty uh, these uh, we again feature on our website um, with direct links to where you get them from on amazon so it doesn't matter where you live in the world you can get them and I think I think they start at £29 or something like that. So again, it doesn't have to be expensive. These I have, these are over two years old and I'm still using them. So very great. Okay, uh, the next thing you're going to need is lighting. Lighting is really important. Can you see how I look now with the light on? I'm going to quickly get up and I'm going to turn my light off. <laughs> Now I've turned my light off. Can you see half of my face is lit? Half of it is in shadow. There's loads of reflection on my glasses, which means the person watching me or you, or if it was a student, you can't really see my eyes very well. There's not much eye contact and I kind of look like I'm sat in a dingy room. And for ladies or anybody that dyes their hair, it's really awful because it does pick up all the imperfections that sometimes hair colour doesn't quite get. So lighting is really important. I'm just going to nip and switch this back on. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So again, there you go. Not a massive improvement, but better. And also it just makes your working environment a lot nicer. Again, if you go down to best lighting here, I've actually done a very, very good review on the lights that I've actually got here. Um, I really do consider these to be the best lights that you can get, really good value for money. These lights that I have are nearly three years old and they are still going strong. I bought two, they're the newer two packs dimmable. It is definitely worth investing in them. Before I bought smaller ones were about £10 cheaper and it does not perform in any way to these. And if you watch the little review video down here, which I've done, um, you can actually hear you can actually see the entire, uh, you know, unpacking everything, how you set them up, and you can really, I've done quite an extensive review there. Um, so that's really, really useful as well. Okay, right, the next thing you're gonna need is a microphone, but like I said, I would really just go with something like this. This is fine, you don't need a podcast and microphone or something that's 100 or 200 pounds to teach English online, you really don't, or to teach anything online. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need to know how to get paid in multi-currencies. This is really important because actually, especially with uh, the situation we've had definitely the last year, lots of people are moving around all over the place. Uh, but more importantly, if you teach English online, for example, you might be teaching students in China, you might be teaching them in Russia, you might be teaching them in France, you might be teaching them in London. Now, a lot of your lesson rate 
could be taken up really easily if you use a high street bank. High street banks have the highest uh, commission charge rate. Um, I have been using a bank for a number of years, which is pretty much known in the online industry or definitely with online teachers and freelancers that work online, digital nomads. So if you don't know about this bank, uh, transfer wise, then um, have a little look at this little article that's here underneath recommended resources. And in this article, I've actually compared their conversion rates uh, for earning income online with high street banks. Um, and I also tell you about a number of the services that you get with them for free that most high street banks charge with charge for even. So um, again, really good advice for you there. Um, and you can uh, even compare to PayPal, they're cheaper. So there's lots of information there um, to help you make sure that you're not going to get kind of like ripped off by charge in the conversion rate and, and paying loads for it. So the next thing you might want to consider when you're teaching online, don't worry, we're going to get to jobs in a moment, is a uh, money cam. So Moneycam is what most professional online teachers use. It's a software um, and you can also use it for video conferencing as well. Moneycam is a free software. You can upgrade to the professional one or the studio version, which gives you, like most things, when you upgrade more things. But to get started, you can use this and uh, use it very well, lots of different effects. You can, um, so I've done a tutorial on that, on exactly how you use it, how you set it up, all the different things you can do with it, from a whiteboard uh, to just putting special effects on the screen, to actually creating digital flashcards or phonic cards, which can help enormously if you are teaching. English, if you are teaching maths, you can create graphs and all sorts of other things. If you're teaching languages, you can also use it for lots of other things. So lots and lots of information in there. So those are the main sort of six pillars, really, of what you actually need, the nuts and bolts to teach online. And the reason why you need these six things before you start doing anything like applying for jobs is because the, uh, the online teaching industry is very competitive. I think it's fair to say that since the pandemic, everyone and then and their nan now still wants to work online. Everybody wants to become an online teacher or tutor. It's a wonderful industry. It's a great place. But most importantly, it's booming. So whilst there's a lot of demand for online teachers or for people that want to earn an income teaching online, there is also a lot of applications. So it can be in certain areas quite competitive. So the best chances of giving yourself uh, full preparation for success is to make sure you've kind of like heed by some of the information that I'm sharing with you now. Um, I actually have my own teaching companies, but I have before worked for lots of online teaching platforms, two of the biggest ones in Asia, where I'm still actually still an educational consultant for one of them. I've also been a recruiter uh, for lots of uh, different companies, as well as somebody that selects and interviews as well teachers uh, for online positions. So I know exactly what companies are looking for, and I know exactly what you need to do to pass the, all of their different tests, and I know all of the processes as well. So at digiteachonline.com, you're going to get lots and lots of information to help you get started. Okay, so we've covered that. Now let's think about how do you actually get started. Okay, well, it's quite simple, really. You need to decide whether you want to teach for yourself with your own clients or, or students or work for a company. Now, if you're teaching English online, if you're working for a company, you're most probably going to work for a Chinese company because they have a lot of different positions. Um, they don't pay very well, though. That's the big sort of hindrance. 
um, since the pandemic, I think it's fair to say that most rates of pay for Chinese platforms have gone down by about 30%. So before you could earn quite well on them, now you can get sort of between 10 and 15 pounds an hour, which is not bad if you're not earning any money at all, or it might be higher than what you're already getting. So it's a good place to start. However, if you subscribe to the DigiTeach website, you'll be sent all sorts of information like the best paying and the top paying companies right now and some of the interview processes. If you've already done that or you don't want to work for 10 or 15 pounds an hour and with Chinese companies, it's only four hours a day. So that might not be enough for some people to pay their bills, basically. You might want to consider starting your own online tutoring business. So at DigiTeach Online, we actually have uh, the first online uh, digital academy for teachers and tutors, where you can go along and find lots of different courses to help you progress. So we do have quite a lot of free courses that you don't have to pay for everything. Um, so the Teacherpreneur Discovery course is a five part course, for example, where you, which is completely free, you can go along there and find out a little bit more about what it is to teach online for yourself with your own tutoring business, some tips on how you get started and some pointers. If you kind of know where you're going with that and you'll know I actually just want to like get my own students, I've got my own website, then go along to the DigiTeach Teacherpreneur Challenge is what I would recommend. This is a, a challenge which is going to help you create uh, marketing techniques, working with social and digital media marketing to help you get your own students. One of my businesses is actually monetized by Facebook, um, so I work hugely with content marketing. I'm also on a platform, uh, a panel uh, with Facebook, where I give them feedback on lots of their resources and the tools that they are rolling out because Facebook have rolled out a lot since the pandemic. So um, I like to get lots of feedback in the online educational world. And I feed that back to the panel that I'm part of in Facebook to help to try and improve their platform because it helps to improve lots of different areas of my life, be it professional and also personal and also that obviously feeds back to people like yourself. So if you are an absolute newbie to uh, teaching online and you want to teach English online and you don't know where to start, I would definitely recommend our little starter um, course. This is a very simple 10 hour course and you can even get the first lesson for free. Um, and this is for really to prepare you to work with companies. Um, so I do go into quite a bit in this course. Um, so I show you what an ESL teacher is and what they actually do, because sometimes there's a bit of misconception with that. Um, I tell you about your ESL starter tools and how to set them up, your different choices for teaching, how to make successful applications to online companies because that's changed a lot before lots of companies would it just expect you uh, to submit a demo tape and then from the demo tape you would have to do a mock lesson which is like a, a pretend lesson with an adult on the other side of the camera and they'd be pretending to be a child it's a little bit nerve wracking sometimes if you're not used to it or you've never done it. Um, lots of companies will expect you to do two or three of those. Some companies you don't do any of that with. You literally just have the one shot chance uploading your video and they either say yay or nay. Again, I work directly with a couple of companies. So if that's the type of teaching you would like to do, work teaching normally children, uh, maybe some adults, but mostly children teaching English, for example, with a company to get started. If you've got no experience at all of teaching online, it might be a good place to get started. Um, so then that goes on to your toolkit. 
how to make your lessons rock from the start, uh, one and two. Um, so I'm actually a teacher trainer too. So um, there I give you lots of different techniques and methods to help you uh, really um, make your lessons stand out and how to do well in them. This is particularly important if you're working for a company, especially a Chinese company, because even though they are a company, they kind of run themselves a little bit like a school, as if you were a paid employee, which technically you're not because you're all what you're self-employed. You you get work through with them through a self-employed or freelancer contract. However, they do have quite strict procedures on how you do things. And there is a certain style and way of teaching or Chinese ESL platforms, which is very different to the rest of the world when it comes to teaching, to be perfectly frank with you. Um, so in those two lessons, I draw differences between the two so that I can show you if you want to be successful with a Chinese ESL platform, you do this. This is what you do. And doing this will help you to get bookings and to, to get consistent bookings, which is what you want. Um, and then obviously I talk a little bit towards the end about freelancing, so possible options. I think it's good in the online industry to have options. And I think like anything, if you put all your eggs in one basket, we don't know where that could lead us. I think it's better to have different streams of income coming in when you teach online, maybe some with your own clients maybe some with some platforms or maybe something completely different. So that's a great, great course. It's £29. We've kept it on sale since the pandemic. Um, so if you have no experience whatsoever with working with online platforms, um, then do this course. And you can do this course uh, with or without the TFAL. If you don't have a TFAL, like I said, not a problem. Go along to DigiTeach Online, look in our recommended resources up here at the top and go and get your TFAL for £19. It's really important with a TFAL that you get a certified one. I should point that out as well. Um, certified uh, is very much necessary. Don't be fobbed off by people saying, come and work with us, we'll get you, we'll get you your TFAL, because that will be an in-house TFAL, which will be unique to that company, but you can't use it in other companies. And quite often when people work teaching uh, English online, they might work with a couple of different companies. Some people work with three companies, some people work with four, because you only get four hours of prime time booking a day with online Chinese companies. So, the reason why you need to have a certified uh, uh, TFAL or TSAL is that in China, they changed the law uh, in 2019 where all documentation had to be certified. Um, and they will actually ask for the certificate number and where you got it from and an email address of the company that you got it from. And they will go and check. Rest assured, they are very thorough they will check. So it's really, really important to make sure you have a certified T-cell. So obviously, because obviously digiteachonline.com is like professional, we only do professional things. Obviously, the T-file that we have uh, here is part, like I said, partnered with an academy. It's uh, completely certifiable. So there we go. Okay, so how do you go about getting jobs then? If you've got all of that, so you've got all your equipment, you've done a little bit of training, you know where you're going, and you're going, right, I want to apply for some jobs now, what do I do? If you go along to our blog, um, here, and you do a search here for jobs, just put in jobs, it will bring up um, a couple of uh, jobs. So here we have, uh, or companies I should say. Uh, so we have two different, uh, two different uh, areas on the website here where we have jobs. 
We have this one, which is like a spreadsheet type, very quick for you to look at. So these are some of um, the most used online companies where you can actually get up to date information. Now we change this quite regularly. For example, iTutor Group can be anything between $4 and $18 an hour. Um, know that when you're working with Chinese companies, everything is in dollars. So it doesn't matter where you live in the world, when they state a lesson rate, it will always be in dollars. Now, with companies like iTutor Group, they pay you depending on where you live because they match your lesson rate as an online English teacher compared to the going rate in your country. Some people think this is fair. Some people think this is unfair. And I get that. If you live in London, you're clearly going to get a higher lesson rate offered by iTutor Group than you would if you lived in Botswana for example, because the standard of living is obviously a lot cheaper there. So, like I said, there's always a few debates about this, but that's just the company. That's how it works. It's a little bit unique, I have to say. Um, lots of other companies like Palfish, like, say, ABC, uh, they pay you a set rate. doesn't matter where you live and they pay you a set rate. Um, I've worked a lot with Palfish. I've also been a Pearson's international book judge uh, for through Palfish. Um, so I, I quite like the platform. It's quite diverse. You can even create little courses on there and teach courses, business English or children's phonics. And again, if you just go to Long to Digital Teach Online and you do a little search, you just put in Palfish, it will bring up um, all of that and you can have a little look into Palfish as well and um, you can apply directly to any of these companies by literally just clicking here so apply here this will take you then to a pet our main kind of jobs page and here we will um, put in um, we will put jobs on here now we're very thorough with the companies that we represent and we won't work with anyone that's slightly shady um so you know you're not going to find 500 companies on here we're only going to work with some of them uh with companies that we know to be um you know decent represent rep rep representable companies um so it's quite simple for example you just go along here you click on apply and this will literally take you to the company itself. And here we go, sign up, there you go, good to go. It's that simple. We try to make the process as simple as possible to help as many people, um, obviously, earn an income online teaching. Now, whereas obviously it's great to work with some companies, obviously lots of companies don't pay very well, and if you can't exist on four hours a day, like I said, you might want to consider starting uh, your own online educational business. So go along to uh, our courses page and have a little look there and see if there's anything that rocks your boat. Most of all, subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the blog. You'll be sent loads of top tips, tutorials, all that great stuff. Um, just to make your um, life easier and uh, a little bit more interesting uh, when it comes uh, to teaching online. So that's pretty much it for the moment. Uh, if you want to know anything else, uh, then obviously email me at info at digiteachonline.com or you can even come along to our Facebook group uh, which I will just briefly show you, uh, which is here. So uh, this is um, uh, building an online educational business. So in this group, we've got lots of different people um, from all walks of life, uh, 
who are building their online business. Um, so it's quite interesting. Um, so in, in there as well, I discuss lots of things, marketing techniques and strategies and just things to basically help people. And if people want an answer to a question and they can't find it anywhere else, they generally come along in there and um, I will either do a live tutorial or I will do something very much like what you're doing now, uh, what I'm doing now to pass on um, some information and hope it helps you. So that's it, everybody. I hope that's been useful for you if you want to earn an income teaching online. Um, leave me a little comment below if it is. And uh, that's it. It's been great talking to you. Speak to you again soon. Goodbye.